I, I'll see if I can um, document the process I use to mimic this fading pattern. Um, if I go to my finished pattern here, uh, let's see, we'll move over. And I had already deleted it, but um, I'm going to get rid of these background. Let's see, get rid of that. I'm going to save this fill. I might want to use it later. So we'll drag it up here. And then I'm going to delete that. So this is the pattern after it's been uh, distorted in a mesh. But to get there, um, started with two dynamic symbols. I don't know if they have to be dynamic, but it worked. Um, if I double click, so this was the, the starting symbol. And um, it was just a triangle. I reflected two lines below and then duplicated that to create this one. I'll let me let me start here. I'm going to duplicate this one, drag it down, and edit it just for demonstration. If I select all, I'm going to deselect one of the lines and then go to transform each. I have to deselect one of the lines or the transform will uh, be a will affect the entire symbol, it, even though it's, I guess it's looked at as a group. But I can then change my scale to whatever I want to do. So it's equal scale. Turn off scale, stroke, and effect, and corners. And then click OK. Then select the one I didn't have selected, Command-D, to do the same. It would be the same as rerunning the transform again. So that's how I came up with the secondary. Looks like I actually used less than 50%, but that's up to you. So now I'm going back to the artboard, and we'll drag out this one and zoom out. Okay. Let's see where I am here. Okay. Start up here. And we'll go over here. Kind of an arbitrary amount. <coughs> and replace that with the first one. And then with those two selected, I'll go to Blend, Make, and in order to make this work, you could calculate it, but I'm just going to say, I'm going to add one more blend, one more step to that blend, um, and Preview. That's pretty close. I'll fix it by scanning, scaling it, and moving this one over. Whoops! Because it's a lot, it's a dynamic. Um, it's a little harder to move things, move an individual um, an individual symbol in this symbol in this blend so I need to go into the artboard or into the uh, layers and select this one and then then I can use the keyboard uh, arrow to move it over until it appears I'm looking at this area right here to see how that looks Okay, and then, then I can take that, turn it into a, um, a symbol, 
so I'll take it. And this time, I just want it. It doesn't. It just needs to be a static symbol. Then I can hit O to reflect, click, and drag. And I need to move it over, so I'm holding the shift key to exaggerate the move a little bit. And turning off um, preview uh, outlines, command H. And try to keep that spot in the center the same. Okay. Now, I really didn't need to do that right now. What I really need to do is duplicate this down. And I'm going to take it down a certain amount. And then blend these two. Oh, turn my outlines back on. And um, blend, make. And we'll just make this seven blends work. And again, okay, I'm hitting, this time I can use my direct select, click A, and then moving down until the position is correct. My, okay, that's pretty good. Okay, now <clears throat> if I wanted to expand the, the full size, I would need to create another pattern right here and maybe take it over. Blend that, uh, blend, make, blend. Used to have a shortcut for getting back here like this, but I don't. Okay. Now we'll tweak that a little bit. Again, that's a live object, or a dynamic blend. Dynamic symbol. You know what I mean. Okay. So now I can take this. I'm going to turn this into a symbol. Okay. And hit static. Duplicate. Blend. make, and I know that should be seven, and it just happens to be because I used that last time. Now I can take this full object, and I should be able to find the center pretty easily right here, and flip that. Um, not quite right. Need to move Okay, well, you'll make this more perfect. But your real question was how to get the blend down. So what I want to do is take just these. Um, let's see if I remember how I did that. Let's go back here. Get that bottom one, which is at the top, and I'm going to duplicate that. Uh, so in the fine in the uh, layers, I'm going to select that and option drag it up to here to the top. So now it's its own. It's out of that blend, and I can move it down. And then I'll move it down again. And then I'm going to um, actually 
I'm going to move, I'm going to duplicate this um, nested symbol and replace, actually, I'll double click to move into that. And then I'm going to take, select this one and swap it for that, that one right here. So now I've got it going just the same blend, the same symbol. Sorry, I'm using terms incorrectly. So now I want to swap that one out with this one and taking these two do a blend. And that's how I get the, the blend down. So then you can take, um, take this full object and what is the center? I'm hitting O again. I'm going to guess that's the center. It's not quite right. No, that's not even close. Okay. And then I got to do one more here, which is this one. And then take. That's its own symbol. I want to duplicate that symbol and swap out the two instances with the small one. And now going back, take that symbol and duplicate it again up here and move it down. And then duplicate it. I'm holding Option, uh, Shift, Command. Duplicate that. You can line these up perfectly. I'm just eyeing it. And then I'm going to swap that with the symbol I just created and do a blend between those two. Blend. So now I've got my pattern, and I could, uh, if you look at it in outline mode, it's not as daunting. And then I could take that and make it a symbol. I don't need to make it a symbol. I can just, I'm going to delete this one. I'm just going to distort this. I could make it a symbol, but it's probably overkill. But if I say blend or um, envelope distort with top object, and I just want, oh, that's nice. I didn't mean, I didn't mean that. Envelope distort with mesh, and I just want one one. So now I've got these mesh points that I want to distort. I find the easiest way I'm using direct select. I'm dragging across to get these two. And then I'm going to use the, ref um, the shear tool, which should be right here. And then I can, holding the shift key, drag up to get that shift. And then I'm holding the, hitting S to get the scale. And then I'm dragging toward the line to create more of a um, cylindrical shape. That phone never rings. Shear. Do the same thing on this side. Got to make sure that the center of um, distortion is along that line that you're just editing, then hitting S to scale, starting at around the center and dragging over. Then if that's really about it, call it good. Hope that helped.